Alright guys, uh, you see who I'm with is Niels from Hoisingveld. Actually his name is Niels Hoisingveld. Um, and we're at the Sim Racing Expo here and I have a few questions prepared for Niels. So, uh, first of all, are there any new products uh, on display? Yes, there is a major development in our simulators. We have seat sliders. So you can move the seat back and forth. That, that, that's a real major development. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. And underneath the pedals as well. So no, oh, okay. nothing yeah. really majorly new. We've been so busy making sprint pedals and expanding yeah. the business that's kept us completely yeah. occupied. So no other innovations here this year. The product that everybody is waiting for, of course, it's it begins with an H as per use with your company, but it stops with pattern. I have no idea what it is. <laughs> so it was on display here, I think, two years ago. Yeah. Right? Um, I, I tried it when I visited your factory uh, in Groningen. Yeah. Um, what up with that? It was. It, it's not completely cancelled, is it? It's just delayed indefinitely? Yeah, we, we have some issues with it. There's also uh, what we do, a couple of vlogs as well this weekend, and one of them is about the uh, H-Pen and Shifter. Yeah. So, no, we were just not happy enough with it. Uh, there were some issues. Okay, wh wh what were those issues? Can you, can you tell us about it? Uh, well, you, the mischiefs were too easy. It was the, you the thought so, okay. Yeah, the gates weren't quite like, tightly spaced enough. Uh -huh. It was too easy to go into reverse or into seventh gear. And the fix for that wasn't really possible. We okay. had to sort of make it like there was a sort of teeth, teeth pattern. We had to make it really sharp and that wears out too quickly so it would be a redesign. Okay. Plus the sequential mode didn't exist and didn't work too well. And then we got the sprint pedals. Uh, yeah, but I mean, you, you, you have this, the sequential shifter, so you don't necessarily need a yeah, sequential but, mode, right? I'm, I'm, I'm lazy myself, I don't want to switch them around on my okay. rig. And okay. I, don't, I don't expect a perfect sequential shifter, but still a reasonable one. Yeah. And I know it's possible, and we, re we want to raise the bar here. We don't want to do products that are, okay. meh, you know, they're right. Yeah, we but want it's to just, do it if they're really good. I, I just think that like everybody's waiting for, for something like that, because there's, there's the top end, if, if you want to Spend a grand and a half, uh, you can get a very nice H pair yeah. shifter, right? Um, if, if you want to spend like 250, you, you get the Fanatic one. And in between, there isn't a lot. There's the Frex, but that. Frex was a little weird. I tried it a couple of years ago. It yeah, it, it looked weird to me on, on Barry Rowland. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm not sure about that. So, I, I was really looking forward to the H band after I tried it. I don't really remember misshifts to reverse or seventh, but well, like the first six, yeah. I, I, I did so few misshifts when I tried. It was just like the, the spacing was perfect to me. The, the spacing was good, and the force and stuff was all quite good, but. I mean, we're professional sim racers, we never make mistakes, but quite a few people had issues with it, and we couldn't really Professional fix it. sim racers. Also, <laughs> just the parts were a bit, it was too hard to assemble, and it was sort of a prototype, and we announced it too, too soon, really, yeah. to be honest. Yeah, too soon. Yeah. Is it also too soon trademarked? <laughs> or is it just soon trademarked? Just soon. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right. Hello. Hi. How you doing? Um, okay, let's see, what else do I have on my list here? Um, okay, so, well, is there, do you have any, like, okay, now you're, you're uh, busy with the sprint pedals. Yeah. But since it's not, it's, it's just delayed indefinitely. When will indefinitely end, roughly? Is it a year, uh, is it two years? We cannot say, we really cannot yeah. say. It, if I wake up with an idea, oh, this is how we're going to do it. Okay. It might be sooner and that still will be one or two years at least. Yeah. But it could very well happen that I, I hopefully I'll, I'll be waking up, but yeah. not necessarily <laughs> with a good idea. Yeah, and it, I don't know. It could be five years. No, no idea. All right, no all right. Yeah. It's really. I that's mean, that's a really long time frame. In, yeah, unfortunately. in our vlog we said as well. You know, if you need an H pedal shifter, get one. Get yeah. a, get a different one. Don't yeah. wait for us. The, the, the problem is, yeah. there isn't really that many as we just discussed earlier. But yeah. like at least in the in in the price bracket that I think many sim racers are looking for one. Something yeah. like a, a step up from Fanatic. We we'd love but, to, but yeah. It's not that easy. Yeah. Well, we got the new uh, office space, so we are almost tripling in, 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 in space yeah. for in yeah. warehouse, and that stuff is just so much work. We've yeah. been so busy with stuff, and expanding it sounds easy, just make more, but the work it is to align all your suppliers, hey, we need twice as much, for example, or one yeah. and a half times, and then the yeah. economy is great, so everybody is asking more from them. Yeah, yeah. And it's, <laughs> you have to plan ahead so far, it's so much work. Yeah. All right, and then uh, we, we sadly saw a video on your channel recently. Very, very sad. Uh, yeah. You you had to get rid of a beloved family That's member. True, yeah. Um, do, can, can you can you tell us already 
what, what it's being replaced with. So just for, for those who didn't see the video, uh, Niels had been driving a Ford Fiesta for a very long time and uh, I think it got issues with the rust. Yeah, it right? rust the suspension, it yeah. was getting a bit... Okay, so tell us, what's, what's the new deal? Now you're not going to believe this, but it's, uh, it's white. Uh, okay, that, that I believe. Okay, and it fits with the with the company colors. Yeah, yeah, and it's a uh, Ford Fiesta. Oh, yeah. But uh, is it at least like an ST? No, no, no. no. <laughs> it's, or it, it, if the S stands for slow, then perhaps, but yeah. slow turd. What is it? <laughs> no, it's. I uh, think it has a different meaning. Uh, yeah. Uh, in the in the real car, so it's a regular Fiesta again. It's just a regular. But Fiesta. it's a new one. It's a new one with, yeah, the, with the squinty yeah. eyes. It's a. Uh, 10 years old, I think. Uh, uh, yeah, that, that's still, we'll, we'll count that as new, right? Compared to the other one, it's new. It's, yeah, it's in really right. good condition. Uh, I think it's 80,000 kilometers. Uh, pretty much as new, so I hope it's, it'll be reliable <laughs> for the next 11 years. So. Yeah, right. yeah I'm, I'm keeping my fingers crossed for that. I just don't care about real cars that much. I, I really like my Fiesta, strangely yeah. as, it, as it might be, because it was the most expensive thing I ever bought. <laughs> with all my savings. Yeah. It's been reliable and simple. You get attached to something. I have that with a lot of stuff. It may be old, but it's it, you, you form the bond with it. It sounds stupid, it's just a simple car, but I kind of liked it, and I like the simplicity. Yeah, and yeah. things that don't break, I don't know, yeah. I like things that don't break. So I mean, that shows in your pedals. Uh, yeah. except, except maybe in 24-hour races, then sometimes they... Every now and then, yeah, just... But only no. they're, they're so good, you still win the race despite the failure. Exactly, exactly, yeah. Right. No, thank you very much, Niels. You're um, yeah, okay, that's it for this interview, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, tune in for the next video, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.